Reserve tried to throw a lifeline to the markets earlier today because as the Dow was getting beaten up, right, it was near the lows at the time I think this news story broke. But the Fed announced that it was going to be lowering the loan limits on its Main Street lending program from 250000 all the way down to 100000 And what this program is, is to lend money to small businesses on Main Street. Now, why is the Federal Reserve making these loans? Because there's no reason for the Federal Reserve to be making loans to small businesses, and certainly not loans as small as $100,000. I mean, why can't these small businesses get a $100,000 loan from their own banks? And the reason they can't is because they're not credit worthy. I mean, the banks could get unlimited amounts of money from the Fed. That's the problem. I mean, yes, there's no real savings to make these loans because nobody is saving. The Federal Reserve has been replacing legitimate savings by just creating money out of thin air and making it available at low interest rates to banks. The problem is the banks don't even want to borrow that money and lend it to these Main Street businesses because they know they're not going to get the money back because these companies are bad credit risks. And so private lenders don't want to make the loans. Now, why should the government do that? If these businesses can't repay the loans, why is the government lending them any money? And It's not really a loan. If you're loaning money to a business that can't repay it, it's not really a loan. It's a grant or it's a gift. But, you know, it sounds a lot better if you can pretend it's a loan. But this is all pure inflation. The Fed is just printing up money and handing it out to small businesses. Again, that's why I think a lot of people are starting small businesses so they can take advantage of this giveaway and just get money from the government. And, you know, I've talked about this in the past. None of this is constitutional, right? There is nothing in the Constitution that says the government, the federal government, can loan money to anybody. It does say in the Constitution that the federal government can borrow money. So it's allowed to borrow money because it is expressly granted that power. Remember, and I've gone over this, the way the Constitution works, the federal government only has the authority to do what the Constitution specifically says they can do in Article 1, Section 8. And Article 1, Section 8 specifically says that the federal government can borrow money. Now, if it didn't say they could borrow money, they couldn't do it. That's why they wrote it in there. Well, they didn't write in there that the federal government can lend money. And since it's not authorized to lend money, any U.S. government loan is unconstitutional. Now, I know some people might say, well, Peter, it's not the federal government making this loan. It's uh, the Federal Reserve. And that technically may be true. And of course, there are plenty of other loans that are made directly by the federal government and are unconstitutional. But to say that these are loans from the Fed and not from the federal government, I think that's a distinction without a difference because these two entities are acting uh, in concert with one another. They are de facto the same entity. The Federal Reserve is acting as if it was an arm of the government, not an independent central bank. But what we do know is that the U.S. government has guaranteed to make up any losses that the Federal Reserve suffers on any of its loans. So in other words, the federal government has guaranteed the loans that the Federal Reserve is making. And again, there is nothing in Article 1, Section 8 that says that the federal government has the right to guarantee the loans of third parties, which would include the Federal Reserve. So the whole thing is unconstitutional. But apart from being unconstitutional, it's bad economics, and it's certainly not capitalism. I mean, is it capitalism when the government loans money to businesses that can't get loans in the private sector, right? Because when the private sector doesn't want to make a loan, it's for a good reason, right? Because the whole purpose of a loan is to get paid back, right? And because you're allocating scarce capital. So you want to make sure you're funding viable, legitimate Uh, projects. And the way you know that it's a legitimate use of the loan is the company borrowing the money is creating enough value with the loan to pay you back and not only pay you back your principal, but pay you back your interest. But you have all these companies that are basically going to fail, right? The reason they're borrowing money is so they can survive a while longer, but they're never going to be able to pay the money back. They're just going to be able to stay in business 
longer utilizing these loans, but then eventually when they go bankrupt, they're going bankrupt with even more debt because they borrowed money when they were on their way to bankruptcy. So they didn't use the money productively. They just used it to stay afloat, right? And, and what the government is doing by extending these loans to companies that can't afford to pay it back and that would go bankrupt without the loans, they're just keeping them in business longer, allowing them to accumulate even bigger debt so that when it comes time to theoretically repay these loans, they're in even worse financial shape than when they took them out. So this is the opposite of capitalism. This is a complete waste. And look, the Trump administration is all for this, right? At the same time, Donald Trump talks about how America will never be a socialist nation, yet he's supporting what amounts to socialist policies where the U.S. government is picking the winners and losers in theory. Of course, all they're doing is picking losers and loaning them money. And again, they're not loaning them money, they're giving them money, but they're preventing the economy from restructuring. They're preventing the economy from freeing up these resources and moving them to uh, more productive uses.